Welcome back to the channel. My name's Imogen. If you're new here, I'm a personal trainer based in Manchester. And today we're going to do a glutes and back workout. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living. That is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Today's workout is a 200 rep workout. So it's super quick. You've got no excuses. Let's go. A runner's lunge. Keeping these stretches Keeping these stretches dynamic because that's what's best for a warm up. We're going to go down and up and do 10 reps on each leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. This is a little bit more of a cardio exercise. We're gonna do a touchdown squat. Okay, so we're gonna do 15 reps of this. So out, out, out. Let's go. One, two, three. Try to speed it up. Four, five, six, seven, halfway. Conehead is back. We are going to do our final warm up exercise. As we're doing a lot of glute stuff today, try um, and use the resistance bands if you can in this next exercise. So we're going to take it down to the floor, pop our resistance band just above the knees, taking it down. If you can get something, rest your feet on so you're slightly raised off the floor. We're going to take it into a glute bridge. So, making sure there's, you've got a flat back on the floor, there's no hole, you can't get your hand underneath. And we're gonna take it up, driving the knees out, or 10, nine, eight, seven, higher, six, five, four, three, two, add one. We've done it. Okay, we're gonna do the next 10 and we're gonna do a pulse at the end of the next 10. Keep going, you got this girl. Driving those knees out, making sure we're holding a piece of paper in our bum cheek to keep the tension in the knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, higher, seven, eight, higher, nine, and last one. 10, nine, eight, seven, higher, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop. Okay, we're gonna do some abductions and then we're gonna go straight into the workout. Okay, taking it to the wall, straight into a wall sit. This time, we're gonna do abductions in the wall sit. So we're gonna do 15 reps. One, two, three, Really feel tension in your glutes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I like to go fifteen. Four, one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, and drop. This next exercise, we're going to do a goblet squat. So we're taking our feet hip width apart, holding your dumbbell like this if you have a dumbbell. Taking your feet hip, hip or shoulder width apart, feet straight, and we're sitting back into a squat position, making sure our shoulders are down, chest is out, core is engaged, and imagine you're sitting down on a chair and back up. Two. Five, 
six, seven, halfway, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one. 15. Well done. Okay, we're going to do 45 seconds rest on the clock. Clock. 45 seconds for a little rest. Get yourself some water and then we're going to jump straight back into it. That's the timer for us to go. Grab your dumbbell. Let's get back into our goblet squat. Let's go. 15. Maybe you need to get your eyes checked. 13. I don't care if you think I'm stuck up. 12. I don't care because you like all my bluff. I don't care if you think I'm a clown. 9. I don't care because you can't pin me down. Okay, another 45 seconds on the clock. 45 seconds. Let's go for a break. Grab yourself some water. And I'll meet you back for round three. Nice and short to keep the heart rate up, to keep the blood pumping, and um, just to get more of a sweat on. Really, it's going to be more intense this way. So we're going to go straight into Romanian deadlifts. So in the break, while the break's going off, I am going to teach you. Those of you who already know, don't worry about these teaching points. Go go, go you get yourself some water. So Romanian deadlift. I'm going to do this with dumbbells. The same really applies with a barbell. There's only a couple of minor things that are slightly different. But what we want to make sure is we've got a nice neutral spine. So when we're going down, the, can you see that? It's like a 90 degree angle. If you could draw a 90 degree angle, that is what it would look like. We don't want any rounded backs, overly arched backs either, okay? So shoulders nice and down, chest up, 
slowly moving down the body. Really feel it in the hamstrings and the glutes. And back up. Moving down. Nice and controlled movements. Okay, let's go for 15 reps. One. Two. Go to just, just about mid, mid shin. So that is the Romanian deadlift, essentially, compared to a conventional deadlift where you would be going all the way to the floor. This is not just a hamstring exercise, this is also working your back. Let's lock out. Where are we? Where are we? So let's say we're on rep eight. Rep nine. Ten. Five more. Eleven. Keep it going. Twelve. Focus on those glutes. Thirteen. Think about your glutes being rock solid. Fourteen. 15, you're driving those hips back, remember. And one more for good luck. Right, okay. 45 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Break time. Okay, we've got two more reps. No, we've not, we've got two more sets. Romeo and, Romeo and your deadlifts. And then we, we're gonna go straight into hip thrusts um, <clears throat> with a dumbbell. Um, obviously, ideally you would do this with a barbell in the gym, but this is a dumbbell only workout, so we're using a dumbbell. If you feel like it's uncomfortable at any point, then pop a, like something that can pad underneath your dumbbell, like a cardigan or a yoga mat, something like that. Sometimes it can dig in to your groin area or hips, depending where your hip lies within your anatomy. Um, Okay, so we've got one more set of Romanian deadlifts. Let's go. Okay, so Romanian deadlifts. Shoulders set, chest nice and open. Driving those hips back, feeling it in those glutes and the hamstrings, and back. And we're gonna go down for rep two. Making sure you're really pushing down all your weight and go feet. I'ma get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, and you don't care my, my vibe, I will get my drink come tonight. I'ma get loose, get wild. If you're not in the mood right now, and you don't kill my my vibe. I'm gonna party until I drop. When I begin, I don't know how to stop. I can party on till the morning comes, till the sun goes up. We don't stop, no. I see you looking at me. You don't stand a chance, you see You don't know how to act I'm looking for classic Can you please take a step back? I will get my drink on tonight I'ma get loose, get wild If you're not in the mood right now And you don't kill my, my vibe I will get my drink on tonight I'ma get loose, get wild If you're not in the mood right now And you don't kill my, my vibe I'm gonna party until I drop I'm not looking for love, I'm looking for fun Just because I have to Another 45 seconds on the clock. So for this, um, for this workout, we are doing high reps, lower weight. So we're not really concentrating on strength. We're more, con con we're concentrating on intensity because a lot of people tend to have um, lighter dumbbells at home. And obviously this is a home workout. So we wanna push the reps. That's why we're doing kind of 15, 20 reps each exercise and lower weight keeping the breaks minimum, which will increase the intensity of the workout and make you sweat, keep your heart rate up, that kind of thing. We're 25 minutes in and we're ready for our final set of remaining hey, dead. Let's go, 15 reps, straight in. Let's go. Five more. 
vibe Four My vibe Hey stupid, you think I want you Just because I am a woman Hey stupid, I don't want you Cause you're way too dumb to see And last one And one Drop those weights, 45 seconds on the clock And then we're gonna do a new heel Okay, while we are while we're here, I'm going to do some teaching points on hip thrusts. Okay, so taking it to the floor, we've got 20 seconds. If you're feeling brave, add on a resistance band for extra, extra intensity. Um, come on, Imogen, you can do heavier than a four. Come on. Let's go for using a band. And if you've got like some books or a catalogue or something that you can kind of rest your feet on so you've got a little bit more height, then please do that. Bring your dumbbell over. And we're making sure our knees are driving out against the resistance band. A resistance band also helps remind you to drive your knees out. Okay, we're gonna go for 15 reps and then on the last rep, we're gonna do 10 pulses. Making sure we've got a flat back, taking it up for one rep. Two, three, nice and controlled. Four, five, squeeze those knees out. Seven, come on, nine, eleven, Woo. fourteen, and last one, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're done. Oh, 45 seconds, 45 seconds, come on, let's go, 45 second break. My booty is firmly hurting. Okay, seeing stars slightly. <laughs> right, so we've got. <clears throat> so we're going to do 15 reps of the hip thrust, and then we're going to do 20 reps, and then 25 reps of the final set of the hip thrust. So next we're going to go to 20 reps in 20 seconds. And don't forget your 10 second pulse at the end. Okay, in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, get ready. Five, four, three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. Keep going. Fifteen. Five more, four, three, you can do it, two, and pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and drop, drop, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, you see my pouch from my sausage sandwich, feeling very bloated today, um, anyway, so we've got 30 seconds left on the clip, clock, click, clock, click, clock, um, we're going to do our final set, which is 25 reps. I know it's a killer, but stay with me. This is a quick workout. We've not, not got long left. We've probably got about 10, 15 minutes left, and then we're done. Stay with me. It's nearly over. 10 seconds, and then we're going to do our final hip thrust set. Okay, three, two, let's get ready. Bringing it. My glutes are firmly ruined. Okay, 25, 25 reps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Halfway. Keep going. Sixteen. 17, remember that paper between the cheeks. 
19. 25 more. Four, three, two, and last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and done. Wow, sufficiently ruined. Bloody hell, my glutes are on fire. I don't know about yours, but my glutes are burning. They're burning. Well done, we did 25 reps. Do you know what? I've secretly been at adding reps in um, during the filming of this. So actually, it's probably not 200 reps. We're probably doing more like 250 reps without you even knowing. 45 seconds on the clock. Now we're gonna go into back exercises. We are gonna do some standing back flies or reverse flies, whatever you wanna call them. So we're gonna take it up. Okay, so get your dumbbells ready for some back flies. Basically, your back flies, what you wanna do, sorry, the closer your upper body is to the floor, so say you're in 90 degree angle, it's gonna be harder for this exercise, either when you're doing a row or you're doing a fly. If you kind of slightly tilt up a bit more, that's a little bit easier. So it's up to you. If you're a beginner, go with a slight tilt. If you're a little bit more advanced, take it right down. Taking it into this stance, back nice and straight, and one, two, really squeezing that back on the top, four, five second break <sighs> making sure you've got a good foundation when you're doing flies reverse flies making sure your legs feel solid you want them to feel like steel that they are holding you there they're the foundations that are holding you into that position even though it's a back exercise you still want to make sure that the tension is still in your legs and glutes to create a good foundation 20 seconds left and then we're gonna go straight into it. Okay, 12 reps. Are we ready? Are we ready? And then we are doing our final set of back flies. We've not got much longer left. And I'll keep saying it, but we actually haven't. We've got, we've literally got one more exercise and then a workout finisher. So we've got 20 seconds. And then we're gonna do back flies and the final exercise. You're doing really well though. Keep it up, making sure you're keeping the tension in your body, making sure the intensity is there. The 12 reps. Slight bend in the knees, taking it down, and we're gonna go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Wowzers. Okay, that exercise is now complete. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Do you remember when we used to do this, do this in parent primary school? 
Give yourself a round of applause, everybody. God, I used to fucking hate school. <laughs> okay, right, we're gonna go into our final exercise before the finisher, which is dumbbell bent over row. Obviously, again, bent over row is a really good exercise with a barbell, but as this is a home workout, we're gonna use dumbbells. Again, again, the intensity is increased if you're closer to the floor. It's hard, the closer you are to the floor, the harder it is because the, the more, obviously, gravity is pulling you down and you've got weights in your hand to lift off the floor, away from the floor. So that's essentially the reason why it's harder. Um, so we'll only do a slight bend. So slight bend, this kind of angle, making sure the knees aren't locked. A slight bend of the knees. And we are going to row up. And you want to make sure that when you're rowing, you are literally feeling it in your lats, in your back. These back, big back muscles here. So let's do that again. Row. Two. Three. Again, if you want to decrease the intensity, only a slight bend. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And drop the weight. Bloody hair, I'm going to pull it back to the Okay, we've got two more sets. We're almost finished. 40, so 40 minutes into the workout. Whoo! Jeez Louise. My heart rate is high. I'm feeling like this is a good intensity to keep your heart beating. Um, minimal break size. Minimal breaks, high reps. Taking it down into the dumbbell row. Final exercise is AMRAP, as many reps as possible. Um, and we're gonna do Supermans. So we're gonna take it down to the floor, face down. I'm sorry if this is slightly off. Oh, that's gonna be so annoying. I'm really sorry that that's off. That's really frustrating, I'm really sorry. <laughs> and I, hopefully you didn't notice it. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna take it down to the floor. Move these dumbbells out the way. Taking it down to the floor. Getting into a Superman position. Okay, and we are taking our arms out as though we're flying. Basically, this is a Superman position. One. Two. Three. Four. And we're gonna do as many reps as possible in we'll do 25 seconds okay so when it gets to 44 minutes on my watch we will stop okay let's begin take it down a notch let's um just relax take the music down a notch and we're just going to stretch out our back and our glutes to finish off the day so let's take it into a nice 
child's pose. Knees as wide as you want. Taking it down. Sit deep into the child's pose. And let's really focus on our breathing. With a deep breath. So in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. It's taking it to the right side so we feel that stretch in this left side of our back. Walking it over to the other side. Taking it into a tabletop position and taking inspiration from the yoga classes I've done this week. <laughs> so taking it into a nice flat back tabletop position and we're going to do cat cow pose so up reaching our leg into a lunge position and taking it into a pigeon pose across the body and take it down to as much as you feel comfortable there shouldn't be any pain here so just relax in the right glutes. Let's take it into a lunge on the other side. Easing yourself into it. Let's take into take it into a pigeon pose. Gently come down into your elbows if, if you feel comfortable. Really feel that lengthening in your left glute. That is today's glute and back workout. I hope you enjoyed. Come back and do this workout over the next four weeks as a little challenge for yourself. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.